So we're going to look at protists and fungi today. You can pause the video and tell me what these methods are of transmission. But you probably know that we can transmit diseases through the air. So in droplets through the air they are airborne or waterborne through water droplets. Through a vector that can transmit a disease from one organism to another. Via bodily fluids when people share needles or sexually or by direct contact. So in today's lesson we're going to look at protists and fungi. So you're going to look at the symptoms of rose black spot which is a fungus and malaria which is a protist. You're going to look at how they are transmitted and you're going to explain how to prevent that. So they are pathogens which are microorganisms that cause an infectious disease. They are communicable which means they are an infectious disease that can spread from one organism to another. And then you're going to look at the spread of those diseases from one organism to another, which is called transmission. So first of all, you can look at the video clip for the protist malaria, and then you can look at the video clip for the fungus rose black spot. There are also some fact sheets in your notebook, so you can have a look at fact sheets, so that you can complete, complete sorry, a familiar worksheet now. So you should know that we're going to put symptoms in this part then we're going to look at how the disease is transmitted and then we're going to look at prevention so how can we stop transmitting the disease and then when you've done that you're going to do a long answer question so you're going to compare how malaria and rose black spot can be transmitted and prevented. So when you're comparing something you'll need to tell me the similarities and the differences. And then when you've done that in your notebook you're going to do the protist and fungi review.